uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, on behalf of President uh, Susumu Satomi of Tohoku University, I, Toshia Ueki, Vice President of Tohoku University, would like to express our hearty welcome for all of you with our great honor and pleasure. As you know well, what happened on March 11, 2011? East of Japan Island was struck by the extraordinary large earthquake of magnitude 9, followed by the historically large tsunami, which gave an enormous damage in human lives and buildings and many social infrastructure, including several nuclear power plants. As of today, 18,716 people were still uh, reported as died or missing, and about uh, 330,000 people were reported as have been evacuated. It would be important to note here that most of these damage were brought by tsunami, not by earthquake itself. As of world history of tsunami disaster in the past nearly 1,300 years, one of the most serious natural disasters has been recognized as tsunami, as can seen in figure one in your workshop pamphlet. Tens of thousands of people, or even more, have been killed. Current countermeasure of tsunami, such as global tsunami warning system, construction of tall buildings as evacuation building, construction of higher water wall at coast, periodic evacuation training, and building houses at higher elevation have been playing an imp important role and effective to minimize a damage by tsunami. However, still, a enormous number of people have been killed by tsunami, as we expressed one and a half years ago, most recently. This trend implies that we may need some more additional approach to improve this situation, to minimize or hopefully diminish the loss of lives by tsunami disaster. The title of this innovation workshop is Offshore Tsunami Energy Dissipation and Peak Height Alleviation, originally organized as a framework of elite laboratory activities, where elite lab was jointly established by Tohoku University, INSA Drion, and Ecole Centrale Drion, and CNRS LIA in 2008, and later jointly supported by Science Council of Japan, Japan. Society of Main Technology to Hokkaido branch and UNESCO. As far as I learn about workshop, this innovative workshop is to aim to provide an excellent opportunity for the people to have a brainstorming discu discussion about the new concept and the challenge for tsunami mitigation with some innovative approach. This workshop is to an opportunity to scientists, scientists and engineers to discuss about the new approach for tsunami disaster mitigation by this the tsunami energy at offshore with some advanced technique. 
After March 11, 2011, Tohoku University immediately launched a program for disaster reduction and established a new research institute named International Research Institute of Disaster Science. Tohoku University itself was also damaged by the earthquake and the total loss in buildings and research facilities were more than 80 billion Japanese yen. Fortunately, no one was killed on campus by the earthquake. Some university facilities and on-site laboratory built, built on coast were all washed away by, by the tsunami. We, Tohoku University, as a major university in Tohoku area, must work very hard for recovery from this disaster and also for reconstruction of the Tohoku area, including nuclear accident at Fukushima Daiichi, which will take more than 30 years to finally uh, stabilize the situation and maybe more time needed for the people coming back to the area close to the accident site. Long-term structural safety and integrity and radiation safety must be maintained for such a long time and fundamental research and innovative technology are needed to achieve this target. We would like to read this mission as one of the Center for Recovery and Reconstruction on this issue with an international cooperation. Recovery and reconstruction from this disaster of East Japan is a key for rejuvenation of Japan. We may consider more active action to mitigate tsunami disaster damage to minimize such a periodic tragedy by means of science, technology, and innovation under international collaboration. Elite Lab was expected to take a part of this important role to promote this extreme back-end technology, which is necessary now. As I mentioned above, international collaboration on this subject will a good opportunity for all of us and have mutual from the outcome of the workshop. In this sense, I would like to thank all of you to attend this workshop. This new potential countermeasure needs a cross-disciplinary approach with a brainstorming type discussion in depth, and this workshop provides a unique opportunity for it to those who should be involved in this new approach. The approach will strengthen a current countermeasure against tsunami by constructing higher water wall, higher elevation construction of housing and buildings. Peak, peak height alleviation can be effective to minimize a damage by tsunami for any residences and their properties and many industrial construction built near the coast. Uh, lastly, Sendai is called a green city and also academic city. Besides, you enjoy this workshop. I hope all of you enjoy some more activities such as nature of Sendai, uh, some historical visit, some fresh food from ocean and mountain, and also some downtown for shopping. Finally, I would like to conclude a successful and very fruitful workshop for all of you, and enjoy stay in Sendai. Thank you for your attention.